What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how you can install a clean, fresh version of Mac OS Mojave on your Mac without any kind of complex uh, steps. It's going to be very simple. All you need is a USB drive, a Mac, and um, just a few hours of patience, nothing else more. So what you're going to want to do is, first step is to back up everything on your computer. That includes whatever's on your desktop, all your files. The best way would be to um, not use a time machine backup. Time machine does save all of your settings, so if there are some uh, bad settings or applications that are causing your computer to have issues, probably not the best to carry it over. So go through all your files thoroughly, find out what you need to keep, copy them over onto an external hard drive or something, and that would be the best option. So let's start off, and the first thing I'm gonna want you guys to do is download Mac OS Mojave. So just open up App Store um, and search for Mojave and you should the first result is going to be Mac OS Mojave now since I uh, have Mojave on my computer I get this kind of screen that says get but if you have a older version like High Sierra you're gonna get a download option just download that let it come through and once it's downloaded so what will happen is it's gonna be in your application folder don't launch the don't start the install process from uh, that installer that pops up after downloading just hold on, uh, make sure it's in your application folders, and what you're going to do is use this application called Disk Creator. Disk Creator is really simple. All you're going to want to do is download it, and once you download Disk Creator, it's going to open up, and since I have it already downloaded, I'm just going to cancel this download. Uh, in your downloads folder, you're going to see Disk Creator. Open it up, and Disk Creator should... Uh, what it's going to do is automatically identify that you have Mac OS Mojave. You can see it right here on the screen. And at this point, what you're going to want to do is insert a flash drive. So uh, I'm going to recommend a USB 3.0, uh, definitely a 3.0. Don't use a 2.0 USB flash drive as it's going to be extremely so slow. Um, definitely over six, uh, 16 gig is minimum in my opinion. Don't go for an 8 gig because the file itself is a 6 GB file. So... I mean, I think you could get away with it, but 16 gig or above is definitely what I'd recommend. So now that I have this flash drive in here, uh, I've already created it, but you can see install Mac OS Mojave. What you want to do is click on it, hit create installer, and it is going to ask you if you want to erase this, erase it, and let the installation go through all the way. It's going to take about 10 minutes, and once that installation is done, what's going to happen is you can see on your... Uh, finder that you'll see a install Mac OS Mojave disk drive. At this point, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have everything backed up, remove the pen, uh, the flash drive from your computer, and start to um, boot up on the new one. So what, what I'm going to do is move in and show you what that process is like. All right, guys. So here is my 12-inch MacBook, and this is the computer that I've been having a little bit of problem with. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a fresh clean install of Mac OS Mojave on this. So I have my flash drive that I made right here with a uh, USB A to C adapter because this MacBook only has a USB C. So what I'm going to do is plug this in and turn the laptop on. And when I hear the Apple chime on startup, I'm going to hold down option. So holding option down now. So we have come up to the uh, boot up menu. So you have Macintosh HD or install Mac OS Mojave. I'm going to go right into Mac OS Mojave. Now this will take a minute or two to kind of boot up and uh, go into that introduction screen. When it gets to that point, I'll come back to you guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. So here we are at that language screen. Let's go to next. I'm just going to pump up the brightness a little bit here. And it doesn't want to. All right. Just want to make sure you guys can see the screen over here. All right, you guys can see it clearly, so I am okay. Now, what you're going to want to do at this point is uh, disk utility. So you want to uh, open up disk utility first. I'll double click this. And what disk utility is going to do is, what, at this stage, what you're going to be doing is wiping your hard drive and cleaning it up. This is the stage where you're going to lose every single piece of data you have. So be very careful with uh, your decision to do this because you will not have anything left. Uh, so since I have backed everything up, I'm gonna hit erase. And Macintosh HD, I'm just gonna keep the name as it is. And then format, make sure it's on APFS, it's Apple proprietary file system, and erase. 
So once this starts, you have no point of resort from here. It's gonna be completely wiping your hard disk. So make sure that you got everything saved, double, triple check, and then take this step. All right, so we're done. It's successfully erased it. Now at this point, you are almost in the clear. You just gotta close this out. Uh, hit install Mac OS, this is the second option. And when you click on this, hang on, it's gonna take a second here. You're gonna get this screen. You're gonna wanna hit continue and install like you would uh, at any other install would agree and hit Macintosh HD install and continue so right now it just says that my computer is not connected to a power source that's okay because I have 100% charge and there is only one port on this MacBook so uh, I don't really have much of an option there so now it's gonna start the install it, it takes somewhere from 30 to 40 minutes sometimes even longer so um, if your computer does not have charge definitely keep it plugged in uh, if you have a 12 inch Mac like me Make sure it's 100% charged or use a uh, dongle to, that has like both USB-C and USB-A so you can charge it while it's doing that install. But right now I'm just going to let it be. It's probably going to take, uh, the, as I said, 30-40 minutes. Once it's done, I'm going to come back to you guys and just show you uh, what the clean, perfect install looks like. Alright guys, so that was it. That was the install process. It took about 30 minutes from start to end. Pretty painless. Uh, no real issues throughout the install. It was actually quicker than I expected. I expected it to kind of take 40-45 minutes, maybe even more. Um, but that really comes down to, you know, just uh, a bunch of factors. Most of the fact being, you know, I use a USB 3.0 stick. This has a flash drive uh, memory, so it's just very, very quick. Uh, overall, it's it's uh, already feeling so much snappier. I can just feel it. Even while I was setting it up, everything just feels so much snappier. You guys can see I'm on Mojave 10.14.1. Uh, so that was it. It's not a tough install process at all. Anybody can do it, really. So if you are having problems with your computer, uh, your Mac, and you just want to give it a clean slate, kind of get to the bottom of things, I highly recommend it. Really helpful. And if you have any questions about the install process, how it goes, or if you get stuck at any point, please feel free to hit me up down in the comments below or social media. Social media is probably the fastest way to get to me. Um, and uh, the comments, usually I take a little bit longer to respond to those, but I will at some point, so don't worry about it. Uh, if you have any more questions, guys, as I said, hit me up. I have no issues uh, helping you guys out. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.